Speakers from the various state assemblies meet in Asaba, the Delta State Capital, for the second quarterly meeting to discuss issues of national interest and proffer solutions. Please let's applaud him one more time. The deputy chairman of the conference says the Delta State House of Assembly has been enjoying autonomy since 2019 as it calls for further strengthening of the executive legislature relations in the country. May I therefore commend our chairman and all other stakeholders who worked assiduously in resolving the issues of financial autonomy to state houses of assembly. It suffices my, for my brother, speakers, and honorable colleagues here present to note that Delta State House of Assembly has been enjoying financial autonomy long before this time. For the special guest and governor of Delta State, Ifan Okowa, he believes separation of powers is imperative to aiding checks and balances in governance. The first step to building sustainable partnership between the executive and legislative arms of government for effective service delivery is for both organs of government to work with the consciousness that separation of power is imperative for good governance. It must realize that the principle of checks and balances as constitutionally provided for is to prevent abuse of power, which if allowed to fester, will ultimately circumvent the rights and will of the government. Papers on budget preparation, requirement for an effective legislature, e-parliament and leadership tips were presented. After the end of the session, the chairman reels out the resolutions from the meeting and insecurity tops the list. The conference calls on the major stakeholders to use the instrumentality of the ongoing review of the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to accommodate the community policy and the state police in the country to effectively tackle the insecurity in the country. The event rounded off with an inspection of some ongoing projects executed by the Okoa-led administration.